I don't make it again. I make up these kind of semi cartoon when I'm working for my imagination. But see, I'm going to try and make that. That's a nose and mustache and eyes. I'll try to make it look more realistic. See how fast that is? If I don't like it, I just like, I'll just block it out again and do it again. So, like, let's uh, see if this guy can be a little frightened looking, a little kind of wide eyed. You know, like, we'll give him a couple of. Look at this. See those kinds of lines? They're not going to squash. Now, you know that, that piece that went into the Met had that heavy set gentleman lying on his back and he had his hairy arm I always loved that one particular one you do it with a horse's mane, uh, with eyebrows, but you get a kind of a bushy effect. Uh, again, on the plexiglass, I'll try to do it here, you know, it's uh two seconds. So we've got a kind of frightened looking gentleman over here. You can make happy smiling people, that's my problem. Actually, this one here, uh, you see that's a dead body, and that's, this person was just murdered. This is my problem. And the spirit, the spirit, the spirit, the spirit is coming out of his body. This guy's walking around with a bloody knife. If you want to know what's going on there, uh, why do I like making images like that? Uh, you know, it's, uh, this is just, uh, But the other thing you can do too, whether you, you can use a cloth or a paper towel, if I wipe gently, I can pull a part of the paper towel. You actually can shade with it. Similar to if you ever did pastel drawing or charcoal drawing, where the figure is strongly lit, you cover the whole paper with charcoal, with soft charcoal first. I do this on my drawing class. And then you, you actually work in reverse with the grief. I'm sinking it into the shadow. What textures you get, one on top, you know, the richer it gets. Um, now, <clears throat> if you overdo it, let's say I overdid it, you just go in with the paper towel and pull your highlights out again. So let's, this guy looks a little freaked out. I want to put a color on it, and then I want to show you how to swipe it, and then we'll get to the landscape. Um, okay. Now you can draw positive on negative. You see, I'm going to do that here. And I also want to show you what happens with a brush. Okay, so I just put some lines, positive on negative. And then if you wrap it around your finger, if your fingers, you know, wrap a piece of paper towel or cloth around your finger, um, you can pull light areas out of the dark. So you get positive and negative lines. It's actually kind of a neat effect. Uh, here's my tool here. I want to put some worry lines on this guy's forehead. You know, you can do it on a rhino, you can do it on a field of grass. All, right. All of a sudden, start, I think it just starts to get more of a reality to it. What I do, I just stamp the texture on his head. I mean, like, if I don't like it, you see how easy it comes off. It just wipes right off. And you don't have to worry about it drying. I even like that touch of yellow there. We're going to leave it. Um, okay, so I stamped the texture on his head now. Socks are great. Um, these are my socks. Clean? Yeah, actually, these, these got washed. But you know what's funny? I used to, I used to bring them into my class. Make the colors run or what? No. Dry fast. It's not water soluble, but it is water based. So it does need some soap to cut it to make it dissolve. So that's why when you clean up, you're going to dissolve it with soap and water, not just water. So you do need to and uh, keep you informed. There's only one size you oh, with the press. Oh. Yeah, yeah, at this point, it's only one size. Okay. Yeah. 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 Pull it up. Yeah, it looks great. Okay. Beautiful. So you notice how I kept my hand there, and I did that so I wanted Bruce approval, so he was happy with it. Turn around, and smile for the camera. <laughs> uh, there's a whole bunch of them. Okay, now transparency, um, then you need the transparent base combined with it so that you have a raised, you know, application of ink. So now you can, uh, you can carry your etching studio around on your shoulder. And, uh, <laughs>